Hi, I'm Daryl from Modern Work Mentor with another Modern Work Workout. Reading, replying and posting to conversations in teams can feel like an intense workout drill. We jump between chats and channels, meetings and we're constantly switching context. This affects our concentration, our energy levels and our productivity. Well, the way we read and post conversations in Microsoft Teams is changing. We have the option to combine chats and team posts together in a single list. One place to read all our conversations. We can quickly adapt the list to catch up with unread messages, focus on all conversations where we've been mentioned, open powerful filters across all chats and channels, organize related conversations into sections, and search across all conversations. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to use the new chats and channels experience so you can work out your own way of working with it. Using the combined chats and channels list is optional. When it's available in your organization, you're going to see a welcome message. Turn on the combined chats and channels using the option get started. If you choose to try it later, you can turn it on in the settings chats and channels section and change to viewing chats and channels combined. When you opt in, there's a feature tour that you can follow to get started. Take a moment to get familiar with the new layout. Your pinned chats and channels are in the favorite section. Chats, group chats and meetings are in the chat section. The most recent 20 chats will show. Click see more to list older chats. Teams and channels are listed in the Teams section. Channels you have chosen to hide will still be hidden. The list looks pretty long, doesn't it? And overwhelming when it's combined. We're going to change that in a few sections using filters. Filters give you focus. Now look at the filters along the top of the list. Tap the unread filter. Bam! Your list is focused on unread chats across all your chats and channels. Okay, tap the chats filter too. Wow, now you can see unread chats, just unread chats. Now that's much more manageable than the long list of chats and channels. You can open up an unread chat and quickly catch up. Tap the chat filter to turn it off now. Now use the channels filter. You can see unread posts in channels, including posts where the author forgot to mention or use at mentions. There's that post reminding the team about lunch this Friday. Filters bring focus to catching up on messages. Check out other filters like meetings and tag mentions. Okay, turn filters off now. Then open up the at mentions view. This is a specialized filter. It lists all the posts you've been mentioned in across all chats and channels. Open up a chat that you have been mentioned in. The conversation opens in a panel to the right where you can read, react and reply. Then you can focus on the next mention in the list. Note that you can filter the mentions list so it shows unread. Clear all your mentions and carry on with your day. Now here's a tip, you can pop out the chat in its own window to chat alongside the work that you've opened in other windows. That's it. We've started to get familiar with combined chats and channels. We've learned how to focus with filters and catch up with conversations mentioning us. In our next workout, we will work out how to organize chats and channels using sections, how to sort and further set up our list to focus on what's important to you, and how search works in combined chats and channels list. Get this video ad-free and a companion workout card. Download them to share with your team and in your organization. There's no per user license. Visit the link in the description to learn more.